So to me, mm-hmm. saying, so to me, my heart can't find peace seated mm-hmm. to finish the school so mm-hmm. that I can begin business. Mm-hmm. I feel, I, I, I was feeling like maybe mm-hmm. if I'm told to choose, mm-hmm. you'll choose business. I choose business. <laughs> Is that uh, when you know you are fit, mm-hmm. you get me? Mm-hmm. When you understand your field, you will always go an extra mile. Mm-hmm. Because I remember what is what propels me in business, mm-hmm. not all that all the time that I make a lot of profit, mm-hmm. but the, my desire mm-hmm. to rule the field. And what advice can you give to your fellow comrades? Okay, thank you for your time. Yes, sir. Sasa, my name is Vivian and kindly introduce yourself. I am Brian Karuna Acharya. You are in which year? Oh, you are in fourth year. So how have you been managing your financial, your financial status since first year? Less costly in terms of uh, time is also good. Yes. Uh, uh, this business of mine, I just started with my help loan. Yeah, the government support, which I subtracted a little and invested. I started this business uh, while I was And what advice can you give to a fellow comrade? I can, I might be for uh, advice for uh, my fellow comrades that let them not sleep because uh, this small business is very fast with our own clothing, our own uh, pocket money instead of bothering our parents we can enjoy ourselves all this and it also keeps us busy with our comrades 
Thank you so much for your time. We cannot say business is the only means to survive, but it is an option for many who are still studying and those who are through with their studies. Today we are looking at team investors, how they started and how they are managing it so far. Our main guest is a student here in Masai Mara University whose business is doing so well. Welcome as we learn business tips together. My name is Vivian Oresha. Welcome viewers to this show. Uh, we are having a guest. I believe you learn a lot from our guest. He is a student. I know many people are like, ah, is he a student? Hear, hear this from him. Uh, kindly introduce yourself. Okay, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I'm Kemad Bonface, mm -hmm. a fourth year student mm -hmm. at Marcel Mara University mm -hmm. and trying some businesses here and then. How did you start? Before you tell us how you started, tell us when did you start, when you are in which year, when you were in which year? Yes. Okay, I can't say I began business in which year. Okay. I began maybe when I was in high school. Wow. In high school I was doing some, mm -hmm. maybe painting houses there. Mm -hmm. So you know how to paint? Yeah, I was doing, wow. I, I, actually I began with the painting. Mm -hmm. I was going around maybe schools when I see them painting. Mm -hmm. I was painting there. And other times I was paying even my school fees mm -hmm. in high school. And how did you learn painting? Yeah. By what? You just By began just as a mtu amikono then. Oh. I began wow. as a mm -hmm. mtu amikono naomba mm -hmm. kibarua tu ya kawaida mm -hmm. na pewa. Mm -hmm. Other times, naenda pi so mm -hmm. I, I I got used to, to the field mm -hmm. of painting as I began, just like any other person, mm -hmm. do this, do that. Mm -hmm. Then I, I got courage. I, I was confident enough mm -hmm. to ask even uh, high person I could ask mm -hmm. for a job, and then people trusted me mm -hmm. because they had seen me. Doing, doing it oh, yeah. so in the most occasionally like mm -hmm. maybe we can talk of that type of life mm -hmm. tough life in other mm -hmm. ones they say struggle mm -hmm. builds a man and you it is good you begin with the struggle so now i was looking for a way out mm -hmm. how will i maneuver mm -hmm. Because now, maybe other times you need mm -hmm. some pocket money. Mm -hmm. Your mother is thinking that uh, that amount mm -hmm. it is not necessary. Yeah. So I went to go mm -hmm. to go for an extra mile mm -hmm. to get that few coins, maybe to sustain me. Mm -hmm. Where my mother is saying it is not it's, so necessary. Uh, yeah. Whereas to me it is it important. Is, uh, yeah. So I, I think that was one of the way w which brought me mm -hmm. to the business field. I met myself. I can do well in the field mm -hmm. so we can say and even there were other games we were playing in school so they were illegal mm -hmm. maybe we were selling some kumus mm -hmm. and i was doing it i, I can remember in form one actually yeah. immediately after joining i was selling some maybe even phones mm. <laughs> but uh it's okay and uh what about here in masai mara you just came in your first year did you start these businesses in narok when you're in first year or in second year or you began a long term time ago before you joined school okay mm -hmm. i began them uh, let's say in uh, i began them maybe in second year mm -hmm. i began while i was in second year i was attempting some businesses here but though mm -hmm. i've been seriously in business at in middle Mm -hmm. That is where I did uh, I a shop there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Vion, glasses mm -hmm. and the paints. Mm -hmm. That is where I began so much. But here in school, mm -hmm. I began it in, in second year. year. I may say I didn't end enough time. Mm -hmm. But now when I was done with the phone for, mm -hmm. at least I had a, a, a enough time mm -hmm. to hustle and mm -hmm. I had a, a lot of time mm -hmm. to look for money compared to that time I was in high school. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we, we we come for a holiday, mm -hmm. two weeks, we are back again. So I didn't concentrate. But at least here, mm -hmm. between the duration to join campus and uh, form four, mm -hmm. I, I had like five, six months. Mm -hmm. Then I did some few works mm -hmm. and then Corona came. Mm -hmm. Corona came. Okay, so during the, the period uh, of Corona, now we had another extra extra time. time. Mm 
-hmm. So the works which I was doing here and there, the uh -huh. small, uh -huh. I handed up everything. Okay. So That's now there, mm -hmm. that is now where I, I, I may say uh -huh. I end up enough, mm -hmm. enough capital compared to the to original. The previous. Okay. Yeah. And uh, can you tell us some of the challenges that you encounter being a student at the same time, a business person? some of the challenges that you encounter and how are you able to maneuver through them okay you can bear witness with me being mm -hmm. in school mm -hmm. and again doing a tough course like uh, maths and physics it's not easy mm -hmm. True. other times it takes extra mile mm -hmm. what I, I would like to what i mean is this mm -hmm. You have classes, mm -hmm. you have job and you have workers at the same time. Yeah. And you want the, the workers want you to solve somewhere. Mm -hmm. There is there is somewhere they are stuck. Mm -hmm. And they are only you are their high mm -hmm. and their controller. Mm -hmm. At the same time you own books they in you, you have mm -hmm. maybe cut. So you transnight. Yeah. Most of times maybe I may say it requires exactly. a lot of mm -hmm. yeah. Of course, and in other ones, what sustains us is mm. what we call passion. Okay. And uh, something which I would like mm -hmm. to tell everybody else there mm -hmm. is that uh, when you know you are fit, mm -hmm. you get me. Mm -hmm. When you understand you are filled, you will always go an extra mile. Mm -hmm. Because I remember what is what propels me in business, mm -hmm. not all that all the time that I make a lot of profit, mm -hmm. but the, my desire mm -hmm. to rule the field. Mm -hmm. And I know my faith it is in business more than even in the education that I'm doing. Wow. So to me, I may say business empowers me mm -hmm. to study mm -hmm. because I can't say education maybe gives me more strength mm -hmm. to do that. It gives me courage to face education because I can see it is working. Do you have, do you have time to relax? Because as we know, as we know, business people, they don't have time actually. All the time it is like business, business, and you being a student, uh, when it is not business, it is uh, study work. So do you have time to relax or do you say today I'm relaxing, it is a weekend or something like that? Good. It's a bit tricky because now that time you are saying it's for relaxing, mm -hmm. now we see it is another uh, what, can, what can we call it? Mm -hmm. It is another period. That is a favor by itself that you will find. That break you will utilize it mm -hmm. to do more business. But of course in business now, unless you have discipline, because even having a break in business, it is undisciplined by itself. You get. So you will have to work even that time you should you should be relaxing now that is time to organize business how it will be running while you are not there and again another thing which you should know in business at least if you are doing business and you must be there that is not business it is a self-employment and to me i'm not in self-employment i do business that's why i will do multiples of business and run at the same and at, the, at the same time because it is business it should mm -hmm. propel itself mm -hmm. so of course i have time to relax currently how many business do you have tell us uh, mm -hmm. let's see which are serious maybe three uh, the serious ones are three hey, the ones which, which are not serious which uh, hey, uncountable maybe uncountable uh, maybe wow. i have two three mm -hmm. there another one mm -hmm. staying when it comes, I do oh, because okay. I do also tenderings. I do mm -hmm. some, yeah. Wow, five businesses and one word or maybe two or what can you tell your uh, your fellow youths who totally depend on their parents or their guardians on financial upkeep? What can you tell them? Okay, one thing I do, t I, I will tell them. Mm -hmm. It will depend with their okay. Let's talk about this. Mm -hmm. We are not the same. Mm -hmm. And uh, you will allow me to say, mm -hmm. business is not for everybody. Mm, true. There is person who has everything which she needs or her he needs mm -hmm. to propel the business or to start, but it fails. Mm -hmm. In other words, we are not in any competition, but let at least have that mind. Mm -hmm. Because originally, mm -hmm. 
as I, I, I have well, told you, as I have told you, mm-hmm. you need some, some time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So like, let that person mm-hmm. have a desire to stand mm-hmm. on your own. Mm-hmm. Because now I, I, I may say I'm not in that position. Mm-hmm. Maybe I can even support my family. Mm-hmm. You see, kando na mimi kunipea, other times they may need me. Mm-hmm. Because it is an, uh, something I learned. You know, other times even parenthood, kuna Familia they are supporting you, so you are you you relax. Mm, you relax. Mm-hmm. But there is something happens with a ego. Mm. Ego. Iki o konju inachilianga watoto wake wanaka kwa ile nest wanaka inacha zile the soft part ina inacha thorns. Those thorns are for you may you may so tutoto tu kilalia tu nafinywa so they will feel uncomfortable. I think that is one of field mm-hmm. which thrown me outside the business. Okay. You get? Yeah. Because now, mm-hmm. as I told you earlier, mm-hmm. I, I, I couldn't do anything. Mm-hmm. There are some things my mother took us. Mm-hmm. He said those are my my luxuries. But you don't know like I them the luxury. Mm-hmm. Money to go maybe for things mm-hmm. the luxury. Mm-hmm. Everything which was not concerning education, mm-hmm. it is my luxury. Even phone is a luxury. Mm-hmm. And even uh, to, uh, to an extent other times you could say mm-hmm. she could say that uh, even clothes <laughs> you get clothes yeah. it's your luxury. <laughs> so to her, mm-hmm. unless what was basic mm-hmm. need. Like education, school fees. Yeah, those okay. ones. So now that, that situation, mm-hmm. I think that is what is holding so many youths because you can find everything from your mom the, or your parents. Mm-hmm. So you may think okay. you don't need to work. Yeah. But the good thing, even if you have, mm-hmm. now if I had such a, an opportunity, mm-hmm. to me I always say, if I had such an opportunity, a supporting parent, mm-hmm. then I should be very far. Mm-hmm. You get mm-hmm. so most of our youths, what I would like to tell them, use the resources your parents have mm-hmm. to go higher. Mm-hmm. Like to you in, in your field, if you can have gadgets to help say cameras or other resources, mm-hmm. use them to go higher. True. The same I was telling uh, the student which we were with at the high school, mm-hmm. I was telling them, mm-hmm. to me it is hard to explain an internet, uh, revision books, mm-hmm. to stand it. Unless now I skip some, I, I, I have some my own money and buy a book for myself. Mm-hmm. But you could see those people who had those books, they were not reading they them. They were not reading, okay. And mm-hmm. we have talked to quite a number of students and they are complaining like, like okay, studying and job, it cannot go, it, it, it cannot go hand in hand, uh, your fellow comrades. So what can you tell these comrades? Because you study maths and physics and maths, uh, physics and maths. So, and you are able to balance these two. Uh, business and education but many of them they are saying balancing the two it's not easy many youths many comrades of course so what can you tell them what i will tell them actually it is very hard mm-hmm. and even people saying there will maybe tell you do one thing and also it is the culture of kenyans yeah, you do one thing first mm-hmm. but now even some, the Bible, some, yeah, must some will them. say, do one thing, yeah. first then you are done. Yeah. But now, I, 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 I know, I, I tend to think, what if the knowledge I have currently mm-hmm. in the market field, mm-hmm. after we graduate now, let's say next year, yeah. so, so that is 2023, mm-hmm. now I will be, what I was learning while I was in Form 1, like let's say 2013 mm-hmm. if i'm learning them after i have graduated 2024 mm-hmm. that is now when i'm beginning afresh it would take me like six years to catch up you get yeah. but uh there is that power of beginning early mm-hmm. and in other ones i i mean I, I will say it is god oh. god just sure. direct and be so it is not easier and uh, as i told you earlier what what is your faith? What is inside you? Mm-hmm. 
you know even you what you are doing currently mm-hmm. students are in school where are you going to an extra mile of coming to me sure but not because i know what i want in the field and where my passion is mm-hmm. for being mm-hmm. long time ago i was not thinking about coming to university so what? yeah mm-hmm. i studied hard and i passed seriously in high school mm-hmm. but my passion was in in education it was in business in business i was telling my mother can you give me that amount and go mm-hmm. like the, the business mm-hmm. so at the times it is not hand messy mm-hmm. even up to where mm-hmm. and in other times you will st- you, you, you will come to realize mm-hmm. i'm struggling okay. in uh, let me say in business i see it's very soft and easy to run even when there is challenges mm-hmm. but uh but in education because it is not in my passion so a lot mm-hmm. i may not do as well as i can do in the business field sure. you get yeah. so what pro, what gives me strength or confidence to go on to do the two mm-hmm. it is I, I, in my heart i feel like i'm met for business oh, wow. not education mm-hmm. so education is there to help me do business mm-hmm. so i cannot keep business and if i will tell people that they are failed the same way you are you are taking time to sharpen your career kuna mwenye anataka kuwa accountant it is good you must be in books and read and read and read yeah. my side i feel that i should be in the field the field mm-hmm. so now that is where comes the difference there is in a you in a you what is telling you yeah. so if you are i will tell somebody like this mm-hmm. Come on a feel kusoma mm-hmm. there are kadia zenye kama law maybe you will have to do a five even doctor mm-hmm. you will have to do for six years oh, yes. but because you have that passion you will do mm-hmm. so to me mm-hmm. saying so to me my heart can't find peace sitting mm-hmm. to finish the school mm-hmm. so that i can begin business mm-hmm. i felt I, i i was feeling i maybe mm-hmm. uh, If I told you to choose, mm. <laughs> you choose business. I choose business. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned a lot, you've been motivated. Bora Lydia, I'm a student here at Jumsa University. I'm in third year. Mm-hmm. I pursue literature, data science. Okay. Can you tell us something about your financial being in Masai Mara? Yeah, uh, actually about my finances, mm-hmm. I mostly depend on help. Mhm. And from my parents. Okay, and is, is that enough for you or you need a job or something? I think it's enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I know how to manage it. Mm-hmm. Then even if it were not enough, mm-hmm. I cannot manage uh study at the same time with the lo- with the maybe let me say starting a business because mm-hmm. a business like commitment and mm-hmm. the class work also has some commitments. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Oh hi, I'm um, I'm Jane Ampaso. Mhm. I'm a parent. Okay. Yes. Back when I was in school, mm-hmm. I I used to be a spendthrift mm-hmm. and an impulse buyer. Mhm. And I used to associate myself with people who love going out. Mhm. So most of my money would go to drinking mm-hmm. and partying. Mhm. So the best advice I can give them mm-hmm. is to open an account. Mm-hmm. You look for someone who's doing accounting. Mm-hmm. And then when you're given money, mm-hmm. you write on a book. Mhm. Mhm. and the, the essential needs that you need in high school in, in school mm-hmm. you know as a girl you need to look good mm-hmm. you need to apply good lotion mm-hmm. yeah so when you have that and you're still studying mm-hmm. and you're getting good grades mm-hmm. who is going to ask you mm-hmm. so when you write a book and mm-hmm. you say today i have a thousand bob mm-hmm. for this week mm-hmm. i will narrow it down to and throw some in my account mm-hmm. so by the time you're finishing school mm-hmm. you even have money to start up your own business okay so you get employed wow i'm max alokat the chairman of really comrades okay can you tell us oh you are here which career do you take i am a student of masai mara university mm-hmm. uh, third year of course mm-hmm. pursuing bachelor degrees on uh, education Yeah, uh, financially mm-hmm. I can say boldly that uh, I have two mm-hmm. sources. Mm-hmm. Number one is the support from the higher loans education board. Mm-hmm. And uh, number two is uh, my occupation. 
I am a, a young driving instructor in a driving school around Narok. Mm -hmm. So from my advance or salaries, mm -hmm. I, I, I get I get to sustain myself mm -hmm. yeah, and some little requirement. Mm -hmm. But basically, I am a single parented, so the parent mm -hmm. has a lot of weight mm -hmm. back home. So I don't uh, I don't exhaust mm -hmm. the little she has. And uh, you are in which year when you got that job? I got the job this year when mm -hmm. I was second year, as a second semester. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after completing my driving course mm -hmm. and attaining my license. Okay. license. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. And how can you advise your fellow comrades? Oh. Uh, uh, to all comrades mm -hmm. who are watching this, mm -hmm. I would want to advise you that uh, everybody here, any mm -hmm. comrades but over 18 years old, mm -hmm. so uh, we have to be wise enough mm -hmm. and we have to, to broaden our views mm -hmm. and our thinkings. Mm -hmm. It's not about uh, support from parents alone. Mm -hmm. We can work, we can create time mm -hmm. in the course of the day mm -hmm. and do something that would bring, uh, will give us sustenance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Not everybody can take my course, my uh, occupation as a driver, as a mm -hmm. driving instructor, mm -hmm. but anything you can get best for you mm -hmm. that will earn you some income. Mm -hmm. I advise that you go for it. Okay. I'm Yvette Obunga. Mm -hmm. I'm a student here in Saimara. Mm -hmm. I'm taking Kiswahili and Jerusalem Mandarin. I'm in my fourth year of study. Okay, can you tell us how have you been managing your financial status as a student? Okay, first of all, mm -hmm. I depend on from my parents mm -hmm. since I joined this school in 2019. Mm -hmm. My parents have been supporting me all through and uh, I also use help funds to help me mm -hmm. in my financial needs. Okay, so you've never thought of uh, having a job or doing a business. Is that money enough for you, the help and support from parents? Yes, as for now, mm -hmm. it is enough for me because mm -hmm. When I think of starting a business, mm -hmm. managing it can be a bit difficult mm -hmm. because you can find sometimes you have classes mm -hmm. and at the same time you want to go and do business. Mm -hmm. It is a bit difficult to manage the two. It is a wake up call for the youths to follow their niche. Thank you for watching this inspiring episode. Follow for more. My name is Vivian Aresham. Until next time, bye bye.